There's a bottom. There's a top. Woo! Okay, I have just become aware of this little nugget of joy right here. Let me bring her up. So this is spicy habanero chicken McMuffin. And unfortunately, this is only available in Canada. So um, I like to do uh, new spicy hot food situations on my channel. And so I am not going to let that deter me. So we're going to make our own today. So it seems pretty straightforward. All right, spicy habanero chicken McMuffin. I'm going to use a store-bought McMuffin, or store-bought, store, I'm going to use a store-bought English muffin. Um, all right, the ingredients on here, so you got an English muffin, pretty straightforward, I'm going to use a store-bought one. Uh, the junior chicken patty, I'm going to do chicken two ways, so I've got, all right, so this is only available in Canada, and that got me thinking, I'm from Buffalo, and in Buffalo, they have these things called speedies, and I've done it on my channel before, and which way you do it, is you take a chicken, I think chicken, yeah, you take chicken breast and you marinate it in basically like a vinegar situation, basically like an Italian, an Italian dressing, something with a lot of herbs, a lot of vinegar, things like that. You marinate it uh, for a long period of time. Normally when you're brining, you only brine for like chicken for like, I don't know, like an hour to 12 hours max. But I took a chicken breast and I've been brining it in pickle juice for 48 hours now. And then also I've got chicken thighs in pickle juice and also some habanero flakes, because we got a habanero chicken sandwich going on here. And I've been doing that for about 12 hours, so that's going to be the more traditional. We're going to do it both ways today. Uh, creamy hor The creamy habanero sauce, I'm going to make that. We'll get to that. Uh, the processed, I love how they call it a processed cheese slice. I've got a piece of American cheese. Uh, and then butter. Okay, so we're going to build it, and we're going to get going. All right, first thing we got to do is we got to make the chicken. All right, so i got oil coming up. Uh, I'm going to use canola oil, I have flour, and I have buttermilk. Um, in this I have some baking powder, which is going to add some fluffiness to it. And we also got to add a bunch of black pepper. And then I'm going to add some more salt. So I'm using uh, some green Thai chili salt. Uh, I don't have any habanero salt. If I had habanero salt, I'd use that too. This is from GS Small Batch. This is some good stuff. So I'm going to add that salt in there. I'm just adding layers of a bunch of different spicy situations as I can, but I'm not trying to make this insane. Okay, as this is coming up, we're going to bread and prepare the, um, the chicken. So basically when you marinate it like this, it's got like a ceviche situation going on. So it's gonna go right into the buttermilk and we're gonna do a double dredge on this. going. I'm going to do the chicken breast first. I don't want any cross-contamination of the habanero in that batch. So I want to get, I want to really get a pure, like, understanding of how much that habanero pepper, because I want the sandwich to be, like, habanero hot, but I also want it to be, like, approachable to people, you know? Like, I'm not trying to, like, raw. This is not a challenge product, is what I'm trying to say. Trying to keep the frying temp at like 325. Top this a little bit of salt while it's warm. Set aside and let's build our sauce. All right, for their sauce, they're using an oil basically, since it's so. We're gonna take some avocado oil, put in the bottom of a Nutra bullet, a couple tablespoons of avocado oil. And all right, so things we're gonna be using here, so we've got mustard, we've got some sugar. We have dehydrated garlic. We have dehydrated onion. And I'm going about a tablespoon, or a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon of it. Uh, habanero pe uh, pepper flake. Gonna go in there, got a full teaspoon of that. Uh, smoked paprika, which is gonna give it that like orange color. Gonna go with that. We got some chives and cilantro that I'm gonna top with after. I'm gonna put some gray poupon, some mustard in here. Give it a little, little buzz on the Nutribullet. Get a little emulsification going. Add that, and we're gonna be off to the races. 
Okay, I got my sauce built. It is darker than their sauce, but I think, I'm hoping a lot of the, sa the same flavor profiles are there. I'm just gonna put a couple chives in there and some cilantro to add a little bit of texture, but it looks good, it tastes good. It's mustardy, it's oily, it's tangy, it's sweet, it's habanero -y. Tastes good to me, I'd eat it. Fresh cilantro. I don't need that much cilantro, maybe that much. It's definitely a thick sauce. But I think it's gonna be a tasty boy. Okay, time to toast off some make English muffins. Tablespoons of butter in the pan. See, McDonald's does this fun thing where they actually like butter their toasted English muffins, which I actually think adds a huge amount to the over overall product. Let those bad boys toast off. And then we'll build. Okay, these are just about perfectly toasted. So, here's a bottom, here's a top. Woo! All right, let's build this thing. Okay, so we got toasted English muffin. McDonald's is this weird thing where they put the cheese on the bottom. I think it's an odd decision, but here we go. Okay, so English muffin, the bottom. We got the piece of fried chicken, boom. And then we got our sauce. The sauce does not look anything like McDonald's, but it's got a lot of the same ingredients, and my, I don't know, it tastes good to me. Okay. Give it a good schmear. And set it on top. Okay, that is my version of McDonald's. Habanero spicy McMuffin. All right, let's see how it, let's see how it looks. There we go. It's pretty darn toot and tasty to me. Let's see how it tastes. What side am I gonna go for? This side looks pretty good. All right, let's see how I did. Cheers. Creamy, super creamy from the um, avocado oil. Sauce is tangy, cheesy, okay. All right, this is how I recreate a sandwich that I've never had before and doesn't exist in the United States. All right, um, did you like the style of video? Uh, I haven't done a cooking video in a while, so let me know what you think. All right, hope you enjoyed, see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.